in the previous lecture we have seen how to generate the machine code for a particular assembly language program so uh, whatever we have seen is nothing but use of different languages in assembly language programs so in this lecture we will see assembly language statements i professor dv koshti welcome you for this lecture So the contents for today's lecture are imperative statements, declarative statements, and assembler directives. So let us see one by one. First is imperative statements. So uh, whatever the statements are there, except start, end, stop, DC and DS, all the remaining statements are imperative statements. Imperative statements indicates an action to be performed during the execution of the assembled programs. so each imperative statement typically translates into one machine instruction so this is what the basic uh, basic of imperative statements uh, example of imperative statement is add sub mult mor mum so all these uh, examples are of imperative statements so next is declarative statements in declarative statement we have two different statements as dc and ds you can see the syntax here label followed with ds then constant second one is label dc and into single quotes value is given here ds stands for declare storage declare storage reserves the number of bytes of memory for a particular symbol so what this means you can i'll annotate it here a ds1 indicates that for a symbol a one byte of memory is allocated so declare storage this is defining the storage for a so a needs only one memory similarly g ds200 indicates g needs 200 memory 200 bytes of memory so this is what storage is declared i'll make sure you will understand ds very easily you can see this example int a so how many places are required for a you can tell and another example is int just a minute int a of 10 so the symbols are same here it is named as a here also it is named as a but ds for a and a alone and a as an array is different so for this particular statement a ds one is okay but for this statement a ds what is the value for uh, what will be the storage for this a for this a storage will be 10 places because it's an array of length 10 so i hope you understood what is mean by ds so ds stands for declare storage next is dc let me clear this annotation we'll go to the next slide dc so what this dc is dc stands for declare constant so for any symbol what is the value of that symbol is given by the dc so here you can see the example one dc1 indicates that whenever one symbol is used the value of one symbol is nothing but one so the dc short for declare constant statement constructs memory words containing constants it associates the name one with a memory word containing the value one constant can be a form decimal or it may be mean binary or it may be in hexadecimal format so this is what dc i hope you understood dc uh, it is not compulsory that one should have the value one machine is not at all understanding what we are doing but it is understanding only the syntax so here if i write one dc 10 is also allowed because one will hold the value 
one is the name of the symbol one is not giving any meaning here got it next is nothing but assembler directives so name itself indicates that assembler directives instruct the assembler to perform certain actions during the assembly of program so we have only two examples start and end these are the assembler directives what start is going to do start into bracket constant start indicates that first word of target program generated by the assembler should be placed at, at the memory word with address given by the constant so in the previous example we have seen that whatever address is given by the start from that address the uh, machine code will be generated end into bracket operand specification is not compulsory here end directive will end the source program and optional part indicates address of instruction where the execution of program should end sorry should begin so this is the simple thing start and end these are the two uh, different assembler directives uh, this is what we have seen the languages this we have seen uh, assembly language statements uh, like assemblers uh, assembler directives then declarative statements and then at last imperative statements i hope you understood this slide credit goes to professor dm damdere happy learning do subscribe the channel to get the notifications of new videos thank you thank you very much